Mobilegeek's coverage of CBIT 2015 is powered by ASUS. We're at CBIT 2015 and I am with PN Devices here. We've got a couple of devices uh, that are new and I want to show you this one, the Core M based P11N, I think it is. Anyway, the most important thing is this could be a really low cost Core M 2 in 1. A Core M means basically get a, a little bit more power out of the, uh, the system than you would with, say, an Atom device. Uh, this is fanless too, so really brings you sort of best of both worlds in terms of power, processing power, and uh, fanless and battery life. So if we just set that kind of difficult to use origami style stand up there, as you can see, maybe I'm doing it wrong, maybe there's another way to fold that. You'll see it's actually a pretty thin device and there's a very, um, yeah, I guess full size keyboard going on there. We've had a little play with the keyboard. I'm just gonna move around so you can see that the keys are nice, they feel really good. One little problem with this early prototype is it moving around at the back, but actually I, I did some typing on it and actually got some good uh, good speeds out of it. It's very stress-free. There's a touchpad here as well. Let's just take this uh, tablet off. We'll go around the device just briefly from the back here. I want to show you, you've got two USB 3 ports. So that's what you don't get on the Intel Atom uh, Z3 series. Uh, SIM card slot for a possible 3G, 4G version. Remember, this isn't uh, hitting the market just yet. This is probably a early summer device. And we've got micro SD card slot there, uh, micro HDMI for your digital video and audio out, and then headset port there. There's a camera, five megapixel on the back with the auto focus. We did a little auto focus. We did a little check on that. Stereo speakers around this side. Power button, volume up and down and if I just flip around the front you'll see there's a 2 megapixel at the front. Full HD screen 1920 by 1080 and it is of course IPS although it is glossy. Um, not really much more to say about this product at the moment because a PN or an OEM and they need a customer to bring this to, to market uh, uh, under, under a brand and I think this is a nice product. They sort a couple of things out, like that little sort of flexy bit on the keyboard. And maybe the edges are a little bit sharp. Um, always also felt a little bit of heat at the back, but that's not uncommon for a, a show floor type device. Um, not much more to say. Four gigs of RAM and variable SSD from 32, 64, 128. I think the customer can specify what they want there. But I like this. It's one of the nicest, let's say low cost two in ones I've seen here at CBIT. And if they really get this right, this could be a nice little product hitting the market in early summer. My name's Shippy. Thanks for watching. Mobile Geek's coverage of CBIT 2015 is powered by ASUS. Yeah.